Now, on 50 uh, car vigilantes, uh, supposedly vigilantes, targeted officials of the Tamil Nadu government transporting cows from Jaisalmer to their state Tamil Nadu. And they pelted stones at a truck and blocked the National Highway 15 on the suspicion of cattle smuggling in Rajasthan Barmer district. That's what the police has said today. But as we understand, they had all the documents for the necessary transportation. Harsha joins us for more on this. Harsha, while you explain how this is just one of those uh, cases again where vigilantes attacked unknowingly uh, officials this time, uh, not just uh, citizens of this country who also would have had documents, how is it that the police apathy is once again at display? Well, yes, actually, if you look at the visuals, the, the police uh, uh, were at the spot and they were the ones actually who res rescued the Tamil Nadu officials. Uh, we heard the deputy uh, uh, SP there, Omji Ujwal, also uh, giving a bite. Uh, he said that he had all the papers. In fact, what's worse is that the crowd also set fire to, a, to the truck which was carrying the cows. And in fact, it was the local people who rescued those cows. So uh, definitely uh, emboldened. I would just say that it's emboldened cow vigilantes, uh, which got up to uh, something like this here. The, all permissions were in place, including permission from the district administration, Jaisalmer, to transport the cows uh, out of Rajasthan to Tamil Nadu to another government agency. Uh, but uh, Gaurakshaks just taking law into their own hands. Uh, I think the, the charge here really is also that some of these people, the police actually reached the spot late. By then, they had already set fire to the truck and the cows were rescued after great difficulty. Uh, so a number of people, about 10, 15 of them have Sorry, Harsha, can you just get a clarification? They, you say they reached late, but they reached late despite being told about it. And uh, why did they reach late? And that's, that's the problem with the police apathy. Can you explain that a little bit? Well, I'm not really sure why the police reached uh, late, but that's... Uh, apparently the charge against them and because of that taking action against that uh, some people from that relevant thana have also been sent back to the police lines so obviously there was a dereliction of duty on the part of the police that's been brought to the notice of the uh, police admit, uh, police officials and they have been suspended along with the fact that these people uh, have uh, been arrested and actually uh, it looks like from whatever visuals are there the situation actually could have been much worse had the police not reached uh, reached when they did also. So obviously, I think overall the sense that one is getting with these incidents is that uh, Gaurakshaks are getting increasingly emboldened. They are feeling it's perfectly okay to take law into their own hands because uh, no strict action is taken against them. One more question for you, Harsha. Who are these uh, 50 cow vigilantes, uh, so-called vigilantes? Are they associated with any political party, youth uh, wing, anything? Well, we really don't know uh, that as of now. I think uh, those details will emerge as it comes along. We've just uh, about heard this uh, about this news. We'll get you more details right. on that. Right. But uh, officially not associated with any political party. So far, all the cow vigilantes who've been uh, caught in Rajasthan are from fringe groups. They don't belong to any political party. All right.